in a very conservative company, um, if you don't have, um, if you don't see that your operating effectiveness is a factor in your competitive success, you're in a very strange industry. <laughs> um, so, um, um, I, to a certain extent, I think this is a, 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 a reflection of where things are in the, in the sort of cross in the chasm sense. Um, that um, uh, for uh, social software, or enterprise software and business, we're now uh, in the early majority True. phase, which means there are going to be people out there who are not enthusiasts or, uh, or innovators, but are looking sort of at you know, what, is the, what are the practical reasons why I should be paying attention to this. And one of the most practical is, you know, this, um, you know, I did the... Um, uh, uh, talk with Ron Miller, and uh, he asked me, "Well, what's what are the benefits?" And I said, "The primary benefits are reducing friction, cost of core business activities, while simultaneously opening the door to innovation, based on broader awareness of what's going on in your business, who knows what, and what they learned." Mm. So, um, those are pretty practical. Sorts of sorts sorts of words that I feel um, uh, it, it's perfectly reason that, that, that it, it's it's easy to back up. Yeah, true. That's words. So um, um, there is the underlying theory and the underlying you know, all of these other things like that. Depending upon who you're talking to, they may or may not be receptive uh, to the um, sort of. Uh, you know, Understanding at a deeper level, but if they understand the, if they understand the results and the outcome, and they have uh, reference cases that they can look at, um, understand, and compare to um, their own businesses cir circumstances, then um, um, I think very conservative companies can. I mean. The the thing that's the thing that's the thing that's I think is important. A very conservative company may be conservative in terms of this is the market we serve. These are our products. These are our services. We know them very well. And you know, please don't suggest that we become um, you know an internet grocery company. Okay, you're conservative in terms of what you do, what you know, and what is your primary value. Here we're talking about things which can amplify that. They can improve your ability to do what you believe is your core business and enhance your core capabilities. So even a very conservative company in terms of business and what services or products they offer, I think can see value in saying, okay, well, Herman Miller is a furniture and office furnishings company. You know, we're not building groceries. We're not building web delivery services. But can we be better at leveraging the intelligence and experience of our own people deeper with our suppliers, uh, come up with ways to produce products that are not only sort of top line, the most expensive air on chairs imaginable, but you know, come up with ways of manufacturing things economically to bring these benefits to lower cost products and expand our markets, you know, you know conservative companies want to be um, uh, more effective in their core business processes and core, core, core business activities as well. And, you know, competitive, you know, conservative companies are, I think, open to innovation in terms of uh, how they do business. Either that or they're simply not going to be around for a while or they're in a very protected industry.